Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, the sexy gamer, and my players as always. Um, oh, blinding light. Um, so we are back to our rogue trader game. If I stop blinding myself with my light, I do apologise if you can hear the rain coming down outside. It's currently cunting it down. Um, it's quite noisy. Um, so our group of uh, uh, adventurers for now. There's a degenerate with them, but we'll we'll not we'll not spend too long on him. Um, or her, it. So uh, after escaping from the mines and having an eventful day wandering around um, the planet for a while and meeting some of the wild wildlife, um, our group finally made it to a settlement. Um, at this settlement, they found out that no one speaks low gothic here. Um, except from a weird bestial mutant um, who has uh, called him, well, who is called Muttermouth. Um, he seems to be able to translate, but it, it's, it's shaky. Um, some of the words take him a while to get used to. Um, However, they were able to get some information out of him, um, namely being that uh, that the God Emperor is dead here, uh, for the most part. Meaning, uh, yeah, the, the Imperial Creed is not uh, is not a thing most people worship. Wow, it's really, really, really cunting it down. Yeah, I can hear it a bit, like some noise. I don't have issues with it though. If you're wondering. I'll, I'll shut my curtain more and just pretend it's not there. If I turn the volume up. Um, if I can't so, see it, it ain't happening. Exactly. So, um, you yeah, you're informed that uh, on this world, apparently the Emperor is dead. Um, it appears as if he does know of it, though, um, as he has made the symbol of the Aquila to you all. Um, but the rest of the people here he is like deftly afraid of them finding out uh our psyker decided it would be a good idea to uh, mentally send a message to him when they were trying to get into the town which freaked him the fuck out um and also got him a good beating from the guards so maybe won't do that again um <laughs> after some information was passed on they were shown to some shoddy equipment sheds where they were able to acquire some Weaponry and equipment, in quotations. Good call it that. <laughs> Is that what we're calling them now? Mm. This could be it again. No. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. So after equipping yourselves, um, you would. So it's it's been a bit of a rough time for you lot at the moment. Um, whilst you have been able to have enough food that you're not starving, you certainly haven't had a full decent meal um, in well at least five days. The last uh, two days, at least you had some warm um, protein from a from a fish with a with a ganglia. I think that's what we called it last time. Fish, small fish. So, uh, and what time did you get here last time? I can't quite remember. I believe it was uh, it was afternoon. So. Um, Considering you're probably all looking a bit more worse for wear, and if you'd like to place yourselves down uh, on the uh, on the board around where Muttermouth is, down by the uh, the tents there, Muttermouth will basically, you know, tell you lot, you know, get equipped, um, get your stuff sorted, sit down for a moment, and he'll go off into uh, the main settlement. About five, ten minutes pass as he comes back. Um, he seems to have uh, a number of items in his uh, in his arms. 
um, and he goes over to the very small campfire and begins to cook something. Okay. Ooh. Uh, can I see what he's cooking? Or? Um, he seems to have some rather uh, rank looking vegetables. Um, I'm not going to. He is the mutant in this place. He's not exactly getting the best stuff when he goes. Um, but it looks like um, types of tuba, types of uh, veget uh, vegetative um, fruit, and um, the likes. In other words, I'm trying to say it's basically things like carrots, turnips, potatoes, parsnips. You know, those those ground uh, tubers. Do you find most yams, things like that, sweet potatoes? Yeah. But most Fun fact, of them... sweet potatoes are not potatoes. Sorry? Sweet potatoes are not actually potatoes. No, they're a yam. I, I find this I mean, it is... I'm sorry, how did we come to this? <laughs> I, mean, I do put the actual potatoes in my soup. You know, a lot yeah, of... Yeah. But... No, but sweet potatoes. No, actual potatoes. My we're, we're, potatoes. We're going to, we're going to. I'm going to take a trowel and I'm going to smooth over this this conversation and get to the end. <laughs> um, so he's basically putting root vegetables into a pot with some water and boiling them up. You can tell the vegetables are not good quality really because they're all um, disformed. There's some rot on them that he has to cut off, and yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be a very um, large soup stew thing but um it will be warm and it is carbs and he seems to do a fairly good job of it for what uh for what he has there um he would so about half an hour or so goes by you guys have equipped yourselves he's got some food um as uh he beckons you all in to have this i mean he rolled an eight for preparing it, but it, it, you know, he's a mutant. He's not getting the poor, poor quality ingredients. What can you do? Um, it's appetizing at least. Well, it's edible at least. Um, <laughs> he informs you uh, that if you want to to stay here, um, you need to pay. You'll, you'll have to, to work for food and for shelter and things of, uh, of the like. Um, there is work that needs to be done here. And he has got um, a list, a small list of things that you can do, essentially. So you have to pay five thrones or the equivalent. So we're going to use thrones as the form of currency, but it is not thrones. It's just a form of currency. We're going to use that as a catch-all for it. Because, um, again, they do a lot of bartering here, not really transferring money. Just, you know, you want this, you do the barter skill, you, you know, trade up. Um, but essentially, it's going to cost you five thrones or the equivalent barter's worth of food each day. Um, there are odd jobs to do around the settlement, that will earn you 25 thrones a day. There's mining that can be done. Um, that will get you 40 thrones a day. And there is hunting wildlife. That will get you 50 thrones per kill. And genuinely speaking, as long as you can, you take the um, relevant people with you or you have the relevant skills, you can get a pelt um, or perhaps even a hunting trophy. And when you go hunting, you don't have to pay for food. This also counts for um, scavenging. Um, sorry, not scavenging. Um, harvesting, if you find like uh, plants and the such. You would also get told more about this area. So... Directly outside of the walls here, there are a couple of 
basically piss poor farming plots where most not all but most of um of the farmed vegetables that can be gathered are grown most of the surrounding area is scrubland and rocky terrain that's why they do a lot of mining and fishing seeing as okay. their ta their settlement is near is near the river um there are trade caravans that come in but they have no idea when they're going to come in it's not a it's not a um you know like every month a caravan comes in sometimes it can be two in a month sometimes it's one a year it just depends on uh, on who's actually tr willing to travel um and collect up the resources so there are times when the town has absolutely nothing and there's times when the town has you know plenty at the moment there's a t the town has next to nothing um there hasn't been a uh, a trader come by in quite some time and they have quite a reserve of materiel to trade but it's things like cut stone it's well it's uncut stone um some dressed stone raw ore um very very little um actually metal works and then some other bits through um through any excess of vegetables or uh, or vegetative matter um and again beast trophies and furs there is a trader in town um who you can trade with there is also a blacksmith and a um a foreman if you do want to hire any personnel or if you want to go out with any work groups So we need to get some hirelings and shit, take them to the home, guide us to where we could hunt, etc, etc, that kind of thing. So something, it's something you can definitely do, or you can go out with other work crews and tag along with them. Okay. I'll sit back and digest some of this information at the moment. Well, we're going to need something for food tonight and tomorrow and everything else, so we should probably get to work. What would you recommend we do? I'm not sure I'm of much use here, unless we go hunting. <laughs> Mutton Mouth looks up at the sky and is like shakes his head and like points you know it, it's past midday now um tells you night time is very dangerous um many things hunt hunt um many big things hunt at night yes 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 um, i'm going to look at mother mouth and just say tell me i'm going to raise an eyebrow uh, dog. We saw a bossack with legs walking around. What was that? Is that one of the creatures you hunt? He cocks his head, not quite sure. It was big, 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 what, and we could hear it for miles away. What, what, what time? What day? Can I make a drawing of the uh, of the beast in the sand? Out of character, we saw it before you arrived here, right? Today, or was it yesterday? So it was just it was before last, we arrived. It was last night on or last night early. No, sorry, uh, yesterday, this evening, uh, this morning, early morning. Um, you saw it on the horizon. 
So we saw it so yesterday rainy. evening or today morning. <laughs> Uh, this, this this morning it was early it was okay. as dawn rose because abby no and then was it you who saw it who saw I, it on your watch I'm one of you saw sure it on the watch. i think so i think one of us saw it on the own watch yeah i, I so, know and again, all pointed it out and again this is this is ah. on the horizon this that was on the very horizon so you could just just make out i know i showed you the token so you got an idea but you need to remember, you know, when you look at a ship on the horizon, you don't know how many, all the details of it. So it... I mean, <laughs> if my <laughs> like sight rating was awesome. one higher, I would have been able to just, you know, give him a picture of exactly what I saw. I mean, I, I will say that to him. Early today, it was not the horizon, and again, it looked like a, a giant ball sack with legs on the horizon, but... He shrugs. He doesn't know what you're talking about. Ball sack of legs. He just doesn't... Uh, I'm gonna with my with the well, but of the spear. I'm just gonna draw basically the weird shape of the creature on the ground. <laughs> he kind of his ears go back as if he doesn't really understand. He doesn't really understand um, what. You're trying to draw. He just roll remembrance. <laughs> many, many things not look same same this world. Mm, not regular creatures that hunt night to night. I'm going to shrug my shoulders and go back to playing with a spear. Since we have our pickaxes, why don't we make use of the pickaxes and start mining a bit? He points up at the sky and... Tomorrow. Back to the back uh, I'm, I'm going to look at you. Do you seriously want to go back to mining, Monkai? Do you want... <laughs> Well, this time we'll at least get bait and fit. Yes, we'll keep but... something. And in the meantime, we can explore those ruins. If I can, can, uh, why not do job in town? Be safe. Why not walk town today and do 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 work tomorrow? So I just keep playing with this beer. I mean, I don't think we'll be leaving soon. We? No. <laughs> no. We'll be leaving anytime soon, honestly. No, I meant for sure. Well, we don't really know where to go, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, he like looks, looks a bit. Confused and a bit again, his ears are pointed like back and after a while of awkwardness, he's like, uh, I show show you. Go ahead. And that's our message of position to it. I'll, uh, so, wait, what did he say? Take a look around town for now and work tomorrow? Yeah. Basically. Like you, it, it, it's it's yeah. like past midday, you know. For you to yeah, travel anywhere by foot, you're not going to be able to do anything. You can essentially yeah. try and do half a day's work in town, doing odd jobs, or you can walk around town and see what's what, where's where, and who's who. Um, like that's what he would recommend. And Albie, put your character, put your character down, or he doesn't exist at all. <laughs> <laughs> Grey disappeared I'm... in the wilderness and was never seen again. He tried drawing in, in the sand and was just swallowed up by it. Was, ah! <laughs> I was busy becoming a being. <laughs> becoming a being. Hmm. A being. 
He was eaten by the spider testicle. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's actually a better way to describe it. A fucking ball sack with legs. It's not a different. <laughs> it's it's spider testicle. Thing. Spider testicle is surprisingly accurate. Yeah. Ball sack, ball sack with legs is just fucking. It's a giant pair of nuts with like two human legs running around underneath, flopping about and fucking. <laughs> Same thing, dude. <laughs> Semantics. It isn't. It isn't. You're talking to a, pri uh, a primitive mutant beast, you yeah. furry. I mean, you, <laughs> they're going to understand. If you're going to use, like, use language like that, he's not, that no one's going to understand you. You're just going to be yeah. a weirdo who they're like, yeah, just shut up. Just sit there and be quiet. Goddamn, well, guy. So, yeah, he, he, if. It's a very weird experience for him being the leader, but um, he <sighs> kind of gestures and okay, you know, I, I can show you around town. I'll, I'm, I'm going to stay close. And, uh, not nip at his heels, but stay fairly in step with him. And uh, I'll follow him. I need to make sure to, that so I understand he, this location. He's going to go into the center of town because then he can just point to places and. <laughs> You you don't have to go all the way on a little journey with him. Oh, the so, character, I don't think it's a smart move, but then character, he wouldn't know, so... As he uh, comes around the corner into the main square of this little shithole, um, you can see that his ears go back again. He uh, Any, like, increase in stature that he had, he loses. He, like, goes back down, hunches up, um comes in and um, takes a very skittish kind of stance and uh, he would point out so this dude down here he is the uh, he's the one who you go to if you want to join a work crew or uh, join the groups that go out in town or out around the village each day this dude over here is a trader. Um, apparently, he can speak um, different languages as well, but um, he made no notion, no motions to actually try and translate when you first came here. Uh, the village elder. Uh, this is his his house. The craftsman. Nancy something or other. And his brother, Hansi, who's a miner. This is the forge. Okay. He tells you that um, the big building at the back is the storehouse. Who was the forge, sorry? That was... This one. This one. Yeah. There you go. I will, mm -hmm. I will put... I'll put Nancy and Hansi next to it. There you go. I'm not going to do this. Is that Nancy or is that Naoi and Hawaii? Is that Nancy or is that Hasey? Hang on, let me have a look at it. That's Nancy and... Nancy, Nancy and Hansi, Hansi. Oh, <laughs> Nancy Asani and Hasey Asani. I thought that was an O. It's a C. Oh, they're surnames. Yeah, Asani. I did tell you that the people here kind of looked very, very similar and had family genetical traits attached. So they're not actually, well, they are brothers, but they're also uncle they're and brothers. nephew. They're, 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 and they're, 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 grandfather they're and grandson. I wouldn't go looking too deeply into their family tree if they even know what a family tree is. Um, <laughs> yes, family tree, tree is where we hang the bodies. <laughs> So if you want to give me an awareness check, everyone, uh, you do get a plus 20. God, I love this Less of a family tree, it's more of a rosary. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking brilliant. Plus 20. <laughs> yes, plus 20. Oh. Right down time you did some fucking hell. Okay, uh, not, not so not so well. And the blind lady's blind. So, so um, what's your excuse? 
So, Herman, <laughs> you would notice no you would notice uh, as um, things are being moved around, things uh, like th there's stuff happening. Everyone is kind of curious about why you're here and watching, and there's you know muttering going on as people walk past you, and so so on and so forth. But it seems as if um, they are doing stuff like they're taking stuff in and out of the of the storehouse there doesn't seem to be really any coordination to it though um they're just like basically jamming stuff into the storehouse just putting it in piles and not really utilizing um the space properly um and yeah it just seems like a very disorderly um system you would also note that everything here is very, very primitive. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if you'd pick up on the same things that other people would, but for example, like um, all the forge equipment is just very, very primitive. Um, the bellows and so on and so forth. It's just, yeah, it just looks really like dirty, rickety, crappy. Um, whereas for the degenerate Eldar, Who's, whose name is now Seven Degrees. Uh, oh, shit, sorry. That's because I forgot to change over. <laughs> no, that's quite right, man. Um, so, with you, Jim, uh, yeah, whatever the hell your character's called. Kahindra. Kahindra. No, not Hindra. Kalindra. Kalindra, okay. Um, you'd notice that everyone here is in quite poor health. Um, not only is it the genetic you know, thing, everything seems they all seem to have similar features and so on and so forth you'd also notice that a lot of them seem to like arms are slightly shorter or longer legs are slightly they're not in the best like their so, genetic health is causing them, them physical issues <laughs> and so on um, you get a feeling as you're looking around and as you can, you know, you've taken quite good notice that round here in this area, like as you're looking, you can see people walking past. Um, there appear to be a lot of, um, of people in pain. So... Oh. Not only does this place not have a genetic bull, they have a genetic puddle. They're also sick as shit too over here. It's mainly genetic issues. Um, so, for example, like I mentioned, they, their legs are longer than the others, so they've got hip problems, that grinding, gnawing pain because they don't have proper medicine. Um, the population seems to be of an average, you know, there are youngsters running around. Um, they seem healthy enough. There's a middle age group. There's not many old. Um, and the middle aged seem to be in far worse health than what you would, you know. About 30, 35, they start deteriorating quick. Um, things start going bad for them. Oh, this genetic puddle is so deliciously entertaining. So yeah, there's uh, there's at least a group. Um, now you're not again. You haven't investigated. You're not quite sure why they're they've been placed over here, but there seem to be a number of houses where maybe this is their medical place. Um, medical? Oh, poke mother mouth with no. Not aggressively or anything. I'm just gonna poke him and just point towards that location. And what's that over there? A uh, place for sick, dying, not long live, or need uh, help to. Feed, look after self, self. I see.
just go quiet or did everyone stop yeah, talking? No, no, it, it, just, oh, okay. it just went quiet. He, he's pointed out the things that we pointed All out. Right. Everyone uh, else failed, so yeah. I, I I don't know if my Discord is I'm, working or not. I'm basically my doing Discord froze. I'm basically doing a lot of uh, bookkeeping at the moment. Yeah, back at the fucking uh, campsite. I'm taking notes. <laughs> I dubbed, I dubbed the village incest village. Praise the Omnissiah. <laughs> Did you read the deal of the art under it? Pet monster. Mm. The deal of the art is Oosi. Look, I needed a name. It was actually the... just fucking straight up. There Look, we go. I needed a name. Name for the village and for my notes. So you went with incest village? <laughs> yes. I mean, it's appropriate, but still, Jesus Christ, dude. Did A little sympathy. Thing? Nah. It's it's no, mechanic. no, you're right. No, 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 no sympathy. <laughs> it's mechanic as me. It, it, it says me. The, the name of the settlement. It, 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 was, it, was, written, it was written on the, on the, um, on the map. Yeah, it's Esme Mining Settlement. Here you go. It's incest? <laughs> Esme. Ah, Esme. Ah, yes, yes, Esme. I'm sorry. Incest Mining Settlement. Okay. No, no. It's Esme. <laughs> We're not calling them incest. Yet. I mean... Leave the I... miners out of it, please. <laughs> yeah, okay. good point. Let's move on. <laughs> we find all these fucking. <laughs> See, it works. Uh... All right. uh, can I ask a practical question? Sure. How the fuck can do we... you? F how the fuck do you fill in your agility on your on the new sheet? Oh, so the um, you know the you know on the core. Character, uh, the core page, you've got yeah. your stats, and then you've got a grey box. Yeah, you fill that your, in. Put your bonus in. Yeah, and then that should fill everything else else in. If not, then I'll have a look. And it, how it do you do fill it How do you fill like in normal number. movement? No, it um, should, that should be auto generated yeah. from the bonus. Yeah, yeah. Let me have a look at your character you sheet. Let me have a look. Over to combat, so let's have a look here. Yeah, you haven't done your see all of these, Alby, need numbers in. So, and those are along, natural bonuses. No, no, for this, no. if you scroll over it, it will tell you it's your bonus. So, you just put your bonus into all of them and then it will calculate it for you. Okay. Yeah, no, these sheets do pretty much everything yourself. Uh, uh, do pretty much everything on their own. I may even take us into into space because of this sheet because it does so much for you. <laughs> Crew rating Promise. stuff, all of it, it's got everything in it. It's glorious. It's glorious. I may have to do a shout out to the mod to the sheet modders. Um, so yeah, Mutter Mouse given you the the basics of information. Some of you have intel um, and have noticed things about the town. The rest of you just just a shithole. If you failed, it's a shithole. It's a grubby little well, yeah, we, we uh, savage town. <laughs> Which is not wrong. It was that. It, it was that whether we fucking pass that or not. All right. Well, we had to fucking uh, make the test or not. Uh, Okay. So yeah, just in case, this guy handles... Oh, I'll ping them. Uh, so this guy handles all work assignments. This guy can tell... Has got a bit of knowledge. I guess he's a town elder. These guys sell shit. These guys make shit and get material. Okay. And over here is where Jim feeds. <laughs> oh, that's, that's why that's there. 
That, that's why that's there. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to say it, but I am going to be spending my days here. <laughs> so I will inform you, Jim, it is only like the bare minimum to survive. Um, you will always be hungry here, but you won't lose any, um, any of your uh, willpower. Okay. I'm gonna that, be a... That's good enough for me, man. <laughs> Actually, let me think of this for a second. Oh yes, Muttermouth would tell you that this place doesn't actually have a medic. There's a <laughs> place where they can put them to die, but the last medic died himself, so... Of course. I, I still didn't have medicine. I hate this. I really wish I was at the point where I could get medicine already, but I can't. I think he's a rank three. <laughs> so yes, any um, talents that you might need, but your career path just does not have them. Um, they can be bought early as extras. They are at the most expensive. So if um, if getting a primitive weapon training for example will be i believe it's 300 xp to acquire things like laboring skills which would come up if you wanted to uh to mine or gather ore or scavenging they are separate skills as far as yeah. i'm aware they should be in the book um if they're not in the book then they're meant to be gm dished out uh those are only a hundred experience to pick up but you may not necessarily need all of the uh all of the weird ones because there are like f technically for mining you just use strength it just increases your your chance by giving you bonuses so okay but what would your group like to do I don't know about the group, but I know that uh, I would like to venture out for a little bit. Uh, I'll just take a little, take basically a mile walk around town. Sure, you can you can spend an hour or so just walking the walls and checking, um, you know, checking out the place, nook and cranny style. Uh, I'll do that too. But I'll stop over at the, the uh, at my. Well, I'll stop by for a snack, basically. Sure. So is that pretty much all that anyone wants to do? I Fair follow uh, Heinrich. Uh, <laughs> I, I, after walking around town, and after I had my snack over there, you know, and on the cantina. Delicious, delicious canteen over there. Uh, I will come here to, and talk to this guy. You're given a, a small piece of bread, which is kind of stale and moldy to chew on as you uh, as you come back. And which guy did you want to try and talk to? Uh, I want to talk to the foreman and see what jobs are currently available. What you know, work groups are currently doing what? Okay, it's um. By the time you finish your snack, it's probably about two uh, p.m. As you right. talk to him, he looks at you as if you're uh, a complete degenerate piece of filth that he's just scraped off the bottom of his shoe. He gives you a quizzical look and Batu. Oh right, I don't think you can speak my language. Muttermouth, where are you? Just uh, Muttermouth kind of, kind of twitches really violently as you as you call his name, like, oh shit, oh, okay. He uh, slowly comes over and... I need to know what jobs he's currently offering, Muttermouth. But... He spits on he doesn't... Muttermouth's foot. He's <laughs> Oh, okay. Just gonna get Muttermouth. Him. Are you allowed to speak to him, Mother Mouth? 
he 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 shakes his head and um asks basically asks in this uh in this weird language that you've been hearing over the last couple of days sorry the last day i have the thing um, clicked on by the way so i believe they're speaking gutter tongue so every now and then the, the translator's picking up the uh, bastardized low gothic word and is trying to make sense of all the other weird words that um have developed over a few hundred years of isolation um Muttermouth uh, tells you that um, there are a number of groups that have gone out. Um, there's two mining groups who have gone out um, to uh, prospect. He tells you that um, tomorrow they'll go out with Hansi and they'll actually go and uh, check one of the two places that they've prospected. There's also a hunting group out, but mm, no, I don't think my mouth would say not here. Um, but he says they they may have some luck. Uh, and as for work to be done around town, he says that the foreman says it's too late in the day. Um, he might have some work if you're willing to work um, until after sunset. Yeah, I don't mind the night, so I'm just going to shrink my shoulder and ask what it is. Uh, he says it's, um, well, Matamouth translate, and he says it's uh, dog body work. I'm sorry, what? Dog, Dog's body work. It, it's just general work. <sighs> sure, why the fuck not? <laughs> okay, roll me a 1d8. Okay, you seem to be moving, um, they're not crates, it's more of just lumps of ore into, uh, into the storeroom. And just chucking it in big piles, you know, yeah, they're like, the piles of ore are like spilling over onto the floor so that it, it, they're basically just filling it up with shit. You can see an area where there's just like, um, finished hides like they they've been you know all the fat's been scraped off them they've been tanned to a limited degree and then they've just been piled up in a big heap on the floor um there seem to be uh big vats of um a very smelly liquidy substance which have a have a load of scum just sat on top of them because again they, they've left them open it seems to have a skin of some type um and then there's well, yeah yeah uh, the other vats um sorry not vats uh barrels of extremely stinky looking water substance you're not quite sure and then yeah the few pieces of of steel work like iron ore and thing, uh, iron ingots and things like that seem to already be starting to rust and yeah, it's just, just not very good. But that's what your job, which you do until um, an hour after the sun sets. Right. I, I will be taking my time too while I'm doing that to observe the surroundings, to observe the people working. It's just you know getting acclimated to the location. So there is there is someone. So there is a foreman um, for all the work. If you're not, um, if you're taking your time, you'll notice that they write on a ledger. So I'm even taking my time. It's mostly who I'm working with, where I'm transporting things, what I'm yeah, transporting. You're like, you're like, oh, I'm taking my time. I'm just getting to know people and how things act. Okay, okay. He marks it down. No, no, no. It's just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that wasn't exactly what I meant, but okay. So what did you... What did you mean then? Did you mean that you were going to be a hard worker and put put your all into the job, or did you? Uh, I'm not putting all my uh, all my back into the work. Obviously not, but it's well in the lines that you no, know, I'm what just putting this. this. What, what, these, I mean, these, are, what, these are the what, people that. 
what percentage are you putting into your work effort? <laughs> 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 On a scale of one to ten. Six? <laughs> Just above average. Sorry, sorry, no, no. On a, on a scale of uh, one to a hundred, rather, not one to ten. So about sixty percent. Okay. So, so, so about sixty percent. Okay, one d hundred. Yeah. Can't get off sixty. I, I mean, under. considering all the people here are kind of, you know, evolved and degenerated, it's probably not too difficult to be above average. I agree. <laughs> I'm probably. Yeah, that, that, that's that's so. You would notice okay. that he takes he takes note in the ledger. Um, everyone seems to work quite hard here. Like during their work hours, they seem to be going at a decent pace, but it's also most of the younger lot. Um, you don't see anyone over the age of 20 doing this job. They all seem to be, and you see a lot of kids, an awful lot of kids who are like picking up armfuls of, of smaller chunks of ore and are running them in. They seem to be making a very sad and uh, pathetic game out of it. I, I feel like this is the labor part of Frostpunk. You're, you're doing the, the child's labor. <laughs> Frostpunk, yeah. <laughs> Does anyone else want to do anything um, with their with their day? With their half day? Uh, I suppose I can join the, the Dark Alar. <laughs> you want to join the degenerate? Okay. Um, well, how, how, how much effort would you be putting into your to your work? Carting uh, lumps of, of stone and ore from one pile to another? Uh, I won't work myself to my death, but I would attempt to do on, a good on, job. On a, on a scale of, on a scale of, uh, of one to a hundred. How would, would you be... define a good job? Like no, no, this would be your character. Job. This would be your character deciding what it is. Kind of menial, you know. You are a tech priest, after all, or an engine seer, I'm and you're being asked to, this, to do the work of a of a of a servitor. You know, not even yeah. a servitor, a menial. I'm also yeah. stranded on on a planet with no food. No, you've eaten today. You you had a you had a. a I got you yeah, fish today. Too. I gave you extra fish because you made a funny joke. No, that was that was, was a couple of days ago. Oh, that was a couple of days ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wasn't, it, it, wasn't it because oh, I made me the fire? It, yes. I thought it was because of the fire. That was because of the fire. Good point. Let's say I do 75%. Nice. Good job, Christ. but not the stellar. Give me a, a 1d100. For fuck's sake! <laughs> you, as you're as you're working, you genuinely start. You go into it quite well, and then after an hour or so, you're like, "Holy shit! What what remains of my human body is actually aching from this shit. My hands are getting cut up. I'm having to run round with kids running past me, and uh, surely there's someone else who can do this menial work and you start slowing down as you start looking at the dark elder who again seems to be very much of this what is this manual labor shit that i have to do Mark down this is probably the first time in fucking centuries this fucking dark elder has actually done menial uh menial work outside of the fucking uh, slave camp quite possible <laughs> Uh, other than fight, we don't. We do also stuff too. We do all other stuff too. So, um, what would the other the other two of you like to do? So, I can tell you now, I'm not doing uh, menial work. <laughs> I'm not doing anything like that. I am sitting around and watching them do that, and uh, I'd look around to see if I can get some like. Uh, I would ask uh, d d d d Muttermouth if he could lend me some flint or some form of uh, whetstone to improve or to just to ensure some of my gear is sharpened. Because uh, I feel like we're going hunting tomorrow. Um, yeah, I imagine Muttermouth would have a small um, whetstone. It looks as if um, it's a whetstone that's been broken. 
like many many times and he's just got this little piece left um okay but it'd be enough to be able to run it down um the edge of the blade yeah uh, just to, just not to make sure it's sharpened all i'll spend some time doing that and tend to the fire and stuff and can I get an armorer test, please? Or a uh, no? It's a, actually, I think it's survival because it's a low tech. Yeah, I think you can do it with survival. So if you give survival. me a survival, I will be nice. I'll give you a plus twenty because it is okay. just running a stone. But you've got to do it at the right angle, and you know, you can what? if you do it wrong, Ooh. do more damage than good. That's a two. Okay, so as you're sharpening down the blade, um. You get it to a really, really nice, uh, sharp edge. Um... I should point out, this is the uh, stolen knife. Yeah. Because I believe yeah. the, 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 the relic stuff is already fairly sharp and everything, so it, it's fine. It's just making sure the knife maintains its edge. Because it was used to saw through that fucking leather shit, so... I will give you a plus one to the dagger um, until you get a righteous fury all right so basically if you uh if you roll a righteous with it it will uh it will dullen the blade again oh shit. Stolen knife, yeet! <laughs> so there we go, and I'll put that in another one as well. Because that's actually the range profile for it. Ah. Non range is this. The stolen knife. Ah, so when you yeet it, I get you. Yes! So Amy, I'll what make that yeeted. I don't think that Abby is one for menial work either. Sorry, it was Abby. That's the one. Okay. <laughs> like to do um, what is your... Muttermouth doing while the others are working? Um, he's kind of just in the square with you, basically um, you two until um he handed his whetstone off to Heimrich. Um, so now he's kind of just. Looking at you, so I, if is there anything you need? She'd probably go back to the campfire, meditate, see if she can hear anything. So, uh, Muttermouth would basically do the same, not wanting to hang around in the uh, in the street in case he gets spat on again. Doesn't like that. And I mean, she she kind of has to, you know. Keep up the pretense that she's blind, so, you know, going out and working on her own is kind of difficult. Good point. Okay. I'll probably, like, you know, hey, come on over here. Back to the camp. We can't have you working now. That's, that's, that's cruel. So four Just hours, yet. four hours pass um, as uh, the other two are working away. Um, the sun has it's about half an hour before it sets 45 minutes somewhere around there when you see um a couple of groups return firstly um, is, do um, you want me to take a signations test oh sure so yeah, you're fine. yeah yeah you could do that unfortunately you cannot hear any uh psychic choirs Do I notice anything else, like animals that are psychically active in the vicinity? Raccoons. You don't. Uh, not in the vicinity of the village and like the um, the areas, the fields that they grow on. You don't sense anything, anything around there. Um, and she'll just meditate and pray. Sure. So you see 
uh, a few groups return. Uh, the first group would probably be the uh, mining two mining groups. And they're about half an hour between each other. Um, they come into the town, uh, go and speak to the foreman, and then go off to their uh, their respected homes to get dinner, I imagine, and to party. Um, <clears throat> just before the sun sets, the uh, the hunters return. Um, they don't seem to have caught anything, but they do again go to the foreman. The foreman gives them their money, and then they go off to uh, to eat, drink, and party. As the sun has set, the uh, the Hold foreman on. comes over to your group. Uh, the sub foreman. Who has been working your group? Um, he has the the children working for for a while. Um, the foreman comes over, and uh, you see the two converse for a while, and uh, he says something in their weird in their weird language, and the children like line up, and he gives them money, and uh, they run off. As it comes to you two. Uh, he says some weird shit again. Uh, tuts loudly, and you receive. So you haven't done a full day, just to just to put that out there, even for an adult. Um, and then you did poorly. So he gives <laughs> each, he gives each of you seven uh, thrones. To be clear, you're a million. Honestly, I don't give a shit if I did a poor day's work. <laughs> I'm literally just spending time not doing anything, so it's money. Uh, you would notice that uh, a number of the miners have been queuing up by uh, by the trader. The trader seems to have... Um... They're not... But, well, actually, technically, they're basically pack lunches. Um, he has, like, a little, bar, little bag... Uh, not... Uh, probably weaved bags, baskets, that's the word I'm looking for, um, with just a few pieces of uh, vegetables and maybe a, a small piece of dried meat that a number of uh, the hunters are coming back and uh, paying their five thrones and taking the goods out of the basket and heading off. Uh, just one question. Did we see that the hunters got paid even with not getting any you know, anything. So out you of the guys, energy? you didn't see anything because you were working over by the, you know, the, the foreman's down at the front gate, and you guys are working up here. So you didn't see. You see. You see the hunters once you get paid and come into the square, and you can see them kind of lining up to get food. I will give you that uh, it seems like they're all paying for and having their um it's basically a gourd um that's been hollowed out for for li for carrying liquids um they seem to all be buying some sort of drink from the trader as well oh, yeah. if only Not my, not my first choice, honestly. Okay. Uh, I await the arrival of the Xenu and the Tech Priest. Do I have any food? Do I have any uh, fish left over? No. Or did we use them all? We used them all up. Okay. So yeah, they better do they better have done well because uh, they're they're you're getting food for the group, especially the Zeno. Zeno didn't do shit. I'm if you say that out loud, I'm literally just gonna raise an eyebrow. You can't. You're miles away. If you don't move your tokens, you don't get to be part of the group. <laughs> You're just still over there. God damn it. <laughs> I wonder if it's in the square, to be honest. There you go. No, uh, no, if you, don't, you, you didn't hear it. You were miles away. Same with the, same <laughs> with the tech priest. Miles away. There, there, there you go. I forgot uh, to move right there. Um, so, 
as uh, night has fallen, Muttermouth would probably go into his tent, um, make another shitty little fire out of scrub plants, um, and would probably be nice and hand out uh, to Abby and um, to Heimrich um, basically some dried meat. And he just seems to take a ch take a piece and just sit there gnawing on it. It's not very nice. It hasn't got any, it hasn't got any salt in it or anything, but eh, it's been dried properly. I, I was going to look at it for a moment before. Uh, re regrettably, this is what he he must resort to at the moment and dig in. It it needs uh, seasoning massively. But it does remind you of Grox. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's that really cheap Grox meat, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah. It, so it's a subspecies that um, is has basically been bred as a beast of burden, or it's they found a subspecies of Grox that had evolved to be more of a beast of burden type creature than yeah. um, the big monstrous creatures that they are. Um, <laughs> Tastes very similar. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. So as the tech priest and the and the, the Xenos come come rushing over with the, their seven thrones okay. each. Fourteen. Total. Total of fourteen, I need what, five to survive a day? Yes. Now, <laughs> fortunately, you have had breakfast, although it's just enough to keep you going, and you did have um, a, a meagre soup um, provided by mutton mouth. So, and a little bit of meat. So you you had just enough to keep going um, until tomorrow. Right. I'll stare at you all, and uh, I'll stare at the two that have returned, and, well, how was work? Boring. Well, no shit, but uh, I'm talking about, about pay. Meager. Pay meager, honestly. If I would know the language, I would try to bargain to set up some kind of system to just let the stones roll in the bloody willow since it, since we just dumped them in a uh, place suited I, i'm just gonna lean against whatever and just say well metal monkey if you could do that you could probably get very well paid over here honestly speaking i didn't do anything too hard so yeah it's pay for doing basically nothing let's say i was motivated the worst was one. Right. Well, it's just need to shrug. Very well. Should talk to the traders tomorrow. Or I think you go to the traders tonight and get some food. You know, so you wait, tide yourselves over, or didn't you go to the tanting for food? No. In truth, we're uh. Waiting for tomorrow when we go hunting. I mean, actually, take up a job, I suppose. Too late. No, it's too late today. But... Uh, it's probably best we just rest. Also, will we stick around in this village or will we look to go south? Say again? Okay. Will we stay in this village or will we go start going south? We should probably stay for a while, you know, tide ourselves over, get the lay of the land, and maybe get some information before heading out and, you know, into the old, uh, into Emperor knows where. And uh, when I say Emperor, I whisper it. And unfortunately, I'm just gonna hold a piece of whatever credit this is or whatever throne this is. We still technically need this, even even if we do change places. That's also true. Did you two learn anything? Uh, yes. I hold up my knife. 
I can make knives very sharp with very little whetstone. I'm gonna look at Abby. And you? So, yeah. I still can't hear any of my brothers or sisters. I'll shudder a little bit. But, uh, nothing. Right. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm going to rest. I'd look around and is there like... So was there spare bedding let out or was it just... There's bags. some scabby tents laid out, which is uh, basically just on the floor. Alright. Uh, hang on. There was a utility shed over here, right? Yes. Alright, I'll go over to that and take a look at the right hand side. There's some really, really smelly hides that you could probably lay on the floor, but they stink of putrid vomit. The next one. <laughs> I suppose there would be like some some. Uh... I suppose there would. Uh... Yeah, I suppose there are. They are a mining town. They would need gravel, so there would be a uh, a bag, like yeah, basically um. Hessian bags with gravel in, or barrels with gravel in. Okay. Uh, could I move them around the place to give myself a bit more space in here? Yeah, sure. You could. You could take, um, take slowly, take um, buckets of gravel and chuck it down, and then smooth it out so you're not on dirt. You're on. You're on gravel. Well, I could take like if there was a bed roll or anything in those tents. Just take them on. Right. There's no. Well, roll me a one d hundred. A ten and below, when you find a mouldy old um, sleeping roll. No, never mind. No. There was. It's not part of the dirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll not, I'll not use gravel. Gravel's not the most uh, pleasant thing to lay on, but I will try to. You'd be beat. surprised. You, you'd be surprised compared to dirt. It's. Yeah, it's... compared to dirt, I suppose. I'll, I'll maybe a little bit and try to beat it in, try to make it a little bit more smooth and. Sure. Yeah, you can you can roll your hand, you know, smooth it along with your hand, or you know, a piece of cloth or something to try and move the sharp bits and dig them into the ground. And, uh, and as I'll... you're, yep. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll just continue doing that for a bit. So as you're doing that, you can hear that um, a number of uh, lights seem to go on throughout town uh, as you're going back and forth to get uh, gravel. Um, it seems like people have set up little fires outside their houses um, and as you progress with your work it sounds as if they're partying or you can hear like shouting drinking and cheering and weird songs okay so I'll prep this for now and return to the group so after I finish prepping all this I'll turn back to the little campfire we have uh, for those of you not uh, doing things with a tent, do you want to give me an awareness check? Minus 20. Critical. Wait. Critical. Critical. <laughs> you're, only, you're only looking. Um... <clears throat> oh, that's cool. The models actually changed the... Uh, colors. the colors. Yeah, that's fucking class. That, that's oh, actually. Abby noticed. I think it's okay. actually kind of bad for us because we're so used to being red. You were used to the other way around, but still. So uh, <laughs> that's why Abby got really happy for a second. <laughs> no, I saw double zero, so I was like, "Ooh." Then Trey, I, I oh shit. I'm going to be nice with this one because I don't really know how you could fuck this up when you're just sat by the fire. Just you're just staring off into the fire, just like completely falling asleep into awake. the fire. No, no, because it's not that late. It's only like eight o'clock. Um, like the sun's gone down, sure, but it doesn't mean it's it's really late in the day. Um, you're just kind of staring off into the fire and don't notice anything. 
Um, however, Abby, as you come out of your meditation, you can hear, you know, um, Heimrich's doing something in the background and um, Muttermouth, you can just hear him chewing um, intently on that piece of uh, meat. As the partying starts happening, you know, you, you give up on your meditation and you come out of it and as the singing starts, you notice Muttermouth twitch and place his hand on his chest and forms a half aquila. But he's very much facing towards the wall line, so no no um no one else would see him. And you would notice by now, this whole area over here is a deserted area. It seems to just be Muttermouth um, in this area. Well, and now you guys. No, Muttermouth does have a wife, but not here. I thought I'd be kind to him. He has one, but it's in another settlement somewhere far away. <laughs> Your princess is another castle, my mouth. Yes. Actually, would I recognize something about the chanting? No. Uh, well, it is bastardized high gothic. Oh, it's just high gothic. Sorry, sorry, bastard, uh, low gothic. Um, so, so I do have scholastic law or cold, if that helps. So the thing is, your, your, um, you don't know the language. There's only a few words that stand out to you. None of the words that you would make out would um immediately like they're not singing about slanesh or chaos or anything like that um but perhaps you would hear words like the tides change and um valiant heroes they're singing about something but because you don't have the full translation it's quite difficult to really put your finger on it but you know from your awareness that Muttermouth has like made the sign of the Aquila um, on his chest yeah she'll quietly mutter to herself fucking heretics I think you'd you'd you twitch, admittedly, um, as you say that. But his ears wouldn't go down in their usual, like they still stay perked up towards the fire. He doesn't turn his ears to listen to the to the music. They're very much you know focused on the fire and towards the uh, the way that he's facing. But the I'll, I'll give it to most of you, the way that the song seems to be formed seems to be quite an epic song, an ep epic saga, you know, songs about battles, about things of that nature. It's got that real patriotic kind of vibe to the, to the rhythm of the song and, you know, you could very much see individuals marching to this or this being played um for a political you know just the way that the the music and the singing is uh, laid out fine i'll ask him so what are they th what are they singing about uh great battle long long time past uh, fight with fetids. Fight with um, other humans. He looks around to see if there's anyone like approaching or 
you know, he actually turns his ears and like looks around in the way that animals do. Um, long, long time before great uh, tribes. Big, big battle. Uh, human army and uh, human army. Uh, Fetids. Sneak attack. Human army. He kind of gestures to the people around. Um, but other human army turn on us. So we run. Never fight uh, again. Not big army. Last big fight of Fetids. And uh, other human army chase. So first human army win. So, Fetids help when Fetids try to save other army. His ears turn, turn back to the fire. What are these Fetids? Mm. Sorry, what are these fetids? Me. Uh, fetids. He points to himself. You mean oh, mutants like you. He shakes his head. Not mutant. Fetid. He was... looks around and really quietly and points to like this place. Them mutant. Me, me fet it. Wait, are you going to know? At least you seem to believe in the Emperor, so you're not a heretic, unlike them. Let <laughs> mm, mm, believe. Mm, mutants not. Big mutants can look like fetids. Do you know if your people have been here before the humans? Not sure. Me no law master. Me hunter, stalker, shadow tracker. Law master of Right, might though. Actually, I think you recognize that I'm a psyker, so do you know of other psychers? Maybe others with others who are blind? But seem to be able to see, like me. Uh, heads of great 
tribes used to be Saikana when illumination came we sent Saikana to great city never see again they serve in, in sky now Does that city still exist? Me think so. Never go down south that far to Great Plains. Human land, not safe for fetids. Abby will nod and thank him. They say Great City used to reach sky, but I not think so. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, he said, Great City, uh, they used to say the Great City reached the sky, but he doesn't think so. <laughs> well, I like maybe. That. Like the dog? Like the dog? It sounds like, that. like a high, kind of. Or a, or a space boat. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't care. I think that's spaceport. I think we would have seen the remnants of a hive, and this is a tiny, tiny hive. But if there were still, you know, if there were still big cities of the empire here, or you know, big human cities, and there would be astropaths there. And I would be able to hear them. Not unless, not unless they're all dead. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, the Austropath dog could have been killed. I don't think it can mutate naturally. It's something that. Well, Astropaths? Yeah. No. The Astropaths? Yeah, no, they're, they're natural. It's a natural that's mutation. mutation. Well, yeah, but they need to be brought to Terra and Soulbound. Yeah, yeah. Shit yeah. like that. So, so telekinesis, or um, not telekinesis, what's the one where you can mind speak? It's telekinesis, isn't it? Telepathic. No, tele 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 telepathic. Tele Being telepathic is a psychic mutation, but to be able to speak in the distances that the Astropathicus do, you have to be a you have to go to the God Emperor, go to his pre go in his presence. And have your eyeballs burnt out of you? Well, yes, no, yes. Way. Well, some of them. You know, it's you know that someone's king. It's fine. Someone enjoyed it. Out of the billions who go there, someone I, enjoyed it. I, I'm I'm just gonna dip this in the bud because I'm the degenerate here. No, <laughs> just no. Stop it. No weird kings. So is there anything Don't else king shame us. Ask, uh, yeah, ask, uh, Muttermel. I will King Shimgor. Go away. I can't. That's Eldar abuse. <laughs> yeah, that Imperium is better at kings than the Eldars. Wow, that's very un... Uh, They're not. This is out of character. Shush. <laughs> very un of you. I hate that fucking word. I hate it too. Please don't use it again. Well, I mean, someone should be able to tell us the actual name of uh, of their race. Can, can you? Can you? Um, don't worry, no one. I've heard Arch say it once, and I was like, "Holy fucking shit!" That's what the Dark Elder actually called themselves. I oh wonder yeah, like calls the, their actual name the is the Dark, the, uh, the Dark Kin or something like that. No, it, no it, it's, it's some it's some Latin other... that's stupidly yeah. long. 
It's not Latin. It's uh, is it it's Irish. Irish. It's Celtic. Not, uh, yeah, Celtic. Uh, that was the one. I, I'm pretty sure that Rukari think they're the true elder. Yeah, they do. But uh, their the literal translation of their name into Old Celtic is like the Dark Ones. Yeah, but it's I something think. ridiculous. Well, the Dark Eldar read. are the true Eldar. They are the yes, only yes. ones that you know were the Eldar when they would have fucked Slanesh into existence. True. They are the survivors, Te technically. Technically, technically, there was an entire race that did that. It's just that it was exacerbated by the true character. Wasn't I mean, the, the craft no, no. world the, elder we know today are basically just gypsies. The, the law is the elder are the reason we have Slanesh. It's the elder's fault. Just because you love the pointy-eared little fuckers, don't try and cover up for them. It was their fault. We no, have no, 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 no! I'm not covering. Pointy ear fuckers is very, very, very accurate. I'm not. I'm not covering up that at all. That that did happen. I'm just saying it wasn't just the Drew Carey that did <laughs> it's it. It's a goddamn Eldar cover up. <laughs> I'm saying it was the entire race that kind of did it, with the exception of the Exodites, because the Exodites were doom preppers that said, "Fuck this, I'm out." No, oh, that's no. so. It's it's that's the Craft World Eldars as well. The Craft World Eldars, yeah. the Exodites, Exodites are both. Exodites left first. Yes, Exodites Wait. left first. Yes, and technically still leave to this day. Like there's there are Dark Eldar yeah. and there are um, Craft World Eldar. Who to this Craft day Wars. will will just be like fuck this shit, I'm off. Um, like during a raid for the Dark Eldar, they just fuck off. They're like, no, I've had enough of this, and go off. That's some sometimes, sometimes oh, how you get um, them in dark in Rogue Traders um, groups, apparently. But anyway, we are not in space. We're on uh, we're on this lovely little world. Of mutants and freaks. So, would you like to ask Mottamalk anything else? Ooh, I'm still fucking working on my new hut, so <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. I think Abby is done for the moment. Like, I posted something in chat that she might say. So uh. she. I'm just gonna shake my head at that, like, yeah, okay. Uh, after that, there's no more talking, I'm gonna go, even though it's not ideal, I'm going to go, well, rest slash sleep over here behind the tents. Because even though I'm gonna be sitting my ass this night, it's still actually kind of nice tent. over there. Behind the tent. Oh, or in okay. The text the tents or over well, here. Go, 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 and move, go and move the other side. Then. Oh, move, move yeah. your token to where uh, you. You know, don't need to tell me where you're going to move. Your, you could just move oh. your token and be like, I, 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 I can uh. disappear off over here. These are tents, right? No, they're houses. They're oh, really shitty. Houses. They're really shitty. Well, hovels, shall we call <laughs> them, to be more precise? It's like straw hash roofs and mud, fucking mud huts. Yeah, also, I think they're the wrong way around. That's the, that's the chimney at the top. I think they're the wrong way around. Possibly, or they just yeah. enter through the through the other way. But yeah, um, so yeah, they're they're little uh, little hovels. Um, so give me a one d hundred. Yep. Jim. Hold up. Buttons. So, Sorry. is the party not coming from in here? Sorry? No, it's all over. Ah, uh, no. that's a D thousand. Oops. God damn it! <laughs> you so, rolled one hundred. There hey. you go, fifty. No, <laughs> no, 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 that was. Oh, you Oh, you just motherfucker. God no, damn. you rolled one hundred. Not even a D one hundred. Just one hundred. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> So as you make your way through into the town, um, darkness has truly fallen now, but there are small little, basically what Muttermouth has got, a uh, small little campfire um, set up along out the front or out the back of each house where people are kind of gathering. Um, by the time you get through there, they seem quite inebriated. Um, Fortunately, however, they seem to be far more um, intoxicated with their with their good times than actually um, actually taking notice of you. However, you would notice that you walk past maybe four or five uh, 
couples fucking loudly. Um, you can hear things like, but we're cousins, but you're my sister. All sorts of weird <laughs> shit. Um, oh, God. <laughs> no, I don't think they would care about that. Would to be honest with you, they wouldn't be shouted out about cousins and sisters, but they are fucking dirtily and loudly. And they all kind of look the same. So um, there is still <laughs> the individuals in the hut. They seem to be getting inebriated as well at this time. You would notice that even at this hour, um, people seem to turn up from town and like put um, a small amount of alcohol in a large uh, dish. And the, uh, the, the sick people, the, the people in pain, seem to be drinking out of this dish um, communally. It's kind of, kind of gross. Um, so yeah, the, the level of pain that's over there has uh, diminished dramatically. Because uh, most of them are drunk now. I, I know it's not the same way, but I don't drink curry feed on strong emotions. You do, do not. You do not get fed. But you do not. I literally just. I literally just want to sit there and just you know, even if it's you, nothing, I'm still just being you there. You do not get replenished by people fucking and having a good time. That's no. I don't know. I don't bad. need to be replenished bad. by that. It's just I'm just I, I'm just saying because I. I, I roll up the newspaper and bap. <laughs> it it's <laughs> suffering and torture. Bap bap. Uh, um, again, I, I'm pretty sure that's incorrect, but again, it doesn't matter. I'm just no, there so, to feed the tiny so, little bit that I can. Suffering, torture, so. and pain are the things that get you off. Um, good it's times get you off. And, Those, and people. That's what the that's what was discovered to actually refill your cup. Yeah, it, it's you're actually mixing it up with demons. Emotions. Demons are the ones that get fueled by strong emotions. Yeah, because otherwise mm. they wouldn't need to murder and torture and mutate and cause a endless agony to creatures. Um, they could literally just have no, them no, no, attached no. to, uh, uh, to, to pumps. You know, they just have loads of men just attached to pumps. Just there you go. You're constantly <laughs> on sex drugs. Oh look, I'm I'm. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, uh, even if it's just a tiny little bit amount of emotion thing that's feeding me there, I'm just being there somewhere in the dark yeah, corner. It, it, it seems as at it seems as if at night time they all get drunk, and the the pain and agony and discomfort that they were feeling that was making you go, "Hmm, this is a nice cracker when I'm starving," um, is gone. Well, you, you can't sit crack. there. <laughs> you can sit there by all means. Um, yeah, sure, you you can sit there. The the weird mutant who's new to town just sitting around the uh, the sick people. Sure. <laughs> hey, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't know that's even worse. <laughs> Not helping. Not helping. So, everyone else, I'm guessing, goes to sleep, and uh, and the day passes. Um, you are now. Oh, I didn't uh, transfer the time and date over to this game. So, uh, you are now on day six of being on this world. Oh, healed fully. So, I would imagine that. Um, Muttermouth would probably be one of because he's more used to the to the no not not that um he's more used to um the time schedule because you guys again have gone from working throughout the night and sleeping throughout the day to the opposite of that now um so I imagine he wakes you all up um um. Please, how, how bad of a transition was it? Because we've only been here six days, right? And we were here on the mine two days? No, so six days of being free. No. Oh, six okay, days in, never six mind. Days in, no, no, six days since you've been on world. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. But again, that's six days without having a proper filling meal. That six days without sleeping in, in a bed um, or any of that stuff. Um... And you did kind of go in the wrong direction for a day when you uh, when you uh, not let you would not let you uh, get your 
happy with fossil tests. Uh, at least we got fish on the day that we went we the wrong way. I did get fish. You did, and you met one of some of the uh, wildlife as well. Also, let's be real here. We kind of went opposite way to not medicine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> This is, well, no, I, I genuinely wouldn't have let you go that way unless you had a, a really, really good um, reasoning for it. strong psychic pull this way. So, you wake up. Uh, well, Matamath wakes you up. Um, he's already got I the fire going. I guess a message of the Emperor. I guess a message of the Emperor wouldn't have counted. I got a text from Big E himself. This way. Heresy. Um, the fire is already <laughs> going. Um he would, to be honest with you, he's uh, he's quite good at living off the land. So I imagine he's got some sort of herb that they drink around here for tea. So he, he's got a, a, a brew of something on the fire. Um, he's chucking dried leaves into. Poor little bugger. Where did the Eldar go? Did it sleep over by the, the, by the sick people again? Did. Um, you know. Me no no. Right. Um, what a mouth. Uh, we should go hunting for game to ensure we can get fed tonight. Huh? You want to go hunt? Yes. Dangerous hunting. I, uh, motion to Abby. If you... Yes? <laughs> I, I, that's it, I just motioned to Abby and... She's different, just different looking different at you cycle. questioningly, not quite understanding what you want. <laughs> Dif- R- wrong, Saikana. R- wrong, Saikana. Uh, yes. I'm, I imagine Muttermouth is just pouring a warm beverage, we'll call it that for now, into, uh, into chipped bowls and passing them out. I can help track Hunt Hunt but very dangerous. You want to go with hunt hunters? Or you go with me? Uh, shall we see how these thing are these uh mutants hunt? Before going off by ourselves. Then I Stay in shadows. I follow. You go with them. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you, so go talk to this person over here. And yeah. Say, so how often do members of these hunting groups not return? When they... Catch, catch big game. One, two dies. <laughs> I, I like what you're thinking. If they get hunt, hunted, then more, more die. Very well. Let's uh, see how they hunt, and then perhaps we'll go for our own hunt another day. Okay. And I'll uh, make my way over to the, uh, the guy that does the hunting cruise. That is the foreman, right? Yes. So, Muttermouth goes with. Um, basically, Muttermouth translates for you. Um, again, the guy spits on Muttermouth's foot. He wipes it off on, on dirt. 
Um, as I see, yeah, as I see, I'm going to spit on Muttermouth. Can I actually just now, you know, push Mother Muttermouth back a step and just give him a nice smile? Sure, you can do that. Uh, the the spit uh, hits the floor rather than his foot. The guy goes from uh, sleepy, you know, um, just waking up to you know, oh fucking mutant. <laughs> Oh, twat. He gives you that. He basically gives you a look of, and he probably says something like, yeah. You get the feeling he says something like twat. Or cunt. I guess I can't deny God. Sure. <laughs> Hold up. Did, did he just say Blair? <laughs> Blair. <laughs> ah, this is Russia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I'm beginning to suspect it's actually Russians. <laughs> it's we we were actually on old terror, like we traveled backwards in time. This is just a random Russian. It's just like squeak of bleakers all around. So he takes out his vodka bottle, he has a swag. <laughs> no. No. Um so a bit of translation goes on. Um Muttermouth basically tells you that uh, you can go with the you can go with the hunters. Um, the hunters all get basically uh, ten thrones if they go out with the hunter group. But if you go with the stinking mutant, then you know you don't get anything unless uh, you catch something. Uh, he informs you that uh, the hunters will be leaving in about uh, fifteen minutes or so. They normally gather up um, in town and then head out. Okay, so we're looking for a group of guys in tracksuits. <laughs> Squatting and drinking blood here. Oh, the drinking makes sense! And eating, eating <laughs> sesame seeds or sunflower seeds. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Fucking slabs. <laughs> Oh, it's God, loud in okay. space. <laughs> it's literally what's going on. Brilliant. <laughs> so, a uh, bit of time passes. Um, you'll notice that uh, Muttermouth. Um, basically, just one thing. sure. Before we leave, did anyone grab the the, the bone suit? No. No. I'll grab it then. I thought you always said you grab the bone suit. I didn't. Where? Yeah, I could have sworn in the last session. Uh, the bone armor was how much AP? So the bone armor is. Oh, that's why it's because uh, the page is. The page is not opened properly. Or it hasn't. Uh... No, 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 it just didn't. Uh... That's really weird. Okay, so the uh, bone armor is for uh, arms, body, and leg, and it's 2 AP primitive. And it okay. weighs 12 kg. Okay. So a, uh, a group of about 10 hunters. You think they're hunters. They're in a big group of them. Um, they turn up. Uh, the foreman basically calls them over and um, you could see he gestures to you after saying some shit um, Muttermouth backs right off um, and you could see that the hunters are uh, you know, they don't really care that you're, you're tagging along um, but there seems to be a bit of a, an argument going on um, before one of them looks over at Muttermouth, Muttermouth goes into that really uh, submissive Try. kind of no submissive uh, kind of um, posturing, like when you see two two uh, wolves or two foxes or two dogs going at it. The the alpha, the 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 dominated dog basically backs down, you no know, ears back, lowers their body and submits to. The alpha of the pack. That's basically what Muttermouth is doing, only for someone who's you know, stood on two legs. So he's not getting on his belly or anything, but he does like crouch down and ears back, all that shit. Tail between the legs, that thing. Um, they say they take you 
fine, fine, but not me. You follow them, them, and... And what do we do for translation? He shrugs. They not go, go with meaning. Hmm. Can you shadow us? Just to be safe. He doesn't verbally reply, but he does nod. Then wait a moment, then shadow us when we leave. We will probably be separate from the group anyway. Why? A little ways back. Just stay close to us. He nods again. He doesn't actually say anything, though. Um... Which is the one that specifically kind of pushed him out? He looks like the leader of the group. Uh, I haven't okay. got tokens for them because they're just generic. It'd be, be yeah, maybe no. just putting gen 10 generic generic tokens down. Um, That's but, fine. Uh, as long as I can pick him out. Uh, I'm just going to be leaning over to Abby and fuck with that one during the hunt. I think it's basically these guys. Who were the uh, who were the hunters in the group? So it's one of these one of these fuckers. No, no, that doesn't look like it. It's missing a tracksuit. And uh, you shake Holy hand. shit! Jesus <laughs> one fucking Christ, lady dude! Holy Keep fucking shit! With it. And they've all kind of got this. Um, so remember, everyone in this town has got this really reddish, um, leathery-looking skin. And uh, yet all the hunters have disfiguring um, scars on their bodies, faces, and... Jeez. Some of it does look a little self-inflicted, like ritualistically. Around, scar around, like, you know, they've had a scar from an animal when they've done ritualistic scarring around that... Um, kind of uh, main scar. I, I can't say I don't approve. They're still ugly as shit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep. I, mean, I mean, that's how you get infections. Did you see her? Like, they're all, I mean, I ignore the star on her, on her, ch on her chest. <laughs> but they're all, you know, Hideous freaks and the uh, I mean, if you and... cover half of her face with a bag, she's fine. The Slaneshi symbol, yeah, <laughs> on the other side. Just ignore those two things. Um, so, uh, as the group kind of get get, you can see that they're they they're preparing now. They're going through each other. Um, they seem to be doing some weird ritual. As um, the leader of the group has taken out a um, a large looking skinning knife and uh, places it places his hands up in the air, the blade next to his palm, he cuts his palm um, and does a puddle a small you know, few drops of blood anyway um, at the uh, entrance to the town before they all leave. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, he then puts the uh, the blood from the knife and wipes it across one cheek and then puts the knife in his uh in, puts the knife away and they sort of head out do they all do that or just the leader? no just just the uh the, the lead hunter yeah like i said abby fuck with you on the hunt not not now So, as for the rules of... Oh, yeah, I didn't... Uh... Okay, well, Muttermouth can have a... Um, you can... Actually, I'll be kind. Because we're using new character sheets, you can all have a fresh uh, fortune point refill. Ooh! I think I want to use one. Oh, fuck. So, I only have one is going to me. use... Shadowing. Ooh! An 11. He did very well. Huh. Good boy. 
And what's his target? His targets. Okay. Right, I don't think we need to add on plus one for degrees of success. No. It uh, should it be added on. Yeah. It doesn't. No, no. Really. He's. Doesn't he have. His target should be 45. No. So he his, got his, point... his target. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I was looking at tracking. His target is. So, uh, is so he... you would round it up so it's four degrees? Yeah. Okay. No, it's because yeah. it's a new character sheet and it does everything else for you. And I thought it was 35, his target. I was like, huh, has it added plus one on for him? But no, no, his target is 45. I mean, oh, no, no, you're right. <laughs> Never mind. So he's, he's got four to degrees. He got four degrees. He's a good boy, though. So, um, as you all head off, I'm guessing you all head off. You notice yes. the, um, the way that they're moving is very, very odd. So if there's 10 of them, they've kind of made a little bit of a triangle with the guy who, who cut his hand out front, like about 10 meters, 15 meters out front. And he's, um, uh, he's waving his hand. <laughs> he's waving his hand around in the air, the hand he cut. He's bait. The guy in front is literally bait, then. Possibly. Possibly. Um, so, can I get... Can I get one D100? What, sorry? Can I get one D100? So just a, a singular D100 dice. Fuck. From okay. everybody or just one? No, no, no. Just the one. Uh... You let me roll. Did you see what my rolls were like last night? That was fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, none of you saw the rolls last night. Um, I used the actual dice. I get a 1D9 from someone. Oh, I'll do it. No, no. Oh, you sorry, a 1D, a 1D7, rather. A 1D7, you get three. Fuck's sake. Okay. So, as you head off, you're taken a little bit aback by the fact that... Um, Again, they're not really looking for tracks. They're not looking for anything, really. Um, but as they're moving along, you can see that uh, one of them does indeed appear, appear to be uh, playing at the bait role. Um, but they're heading in an area that doesn't seem to have lots of life in it. Um, they actually head into the mountainous area. And as they head into the mountainous area, um, I actually need to go over here. Wait, well, where did we see the, the testicles? Uh, it wasn't in a mountain, it was, it was, you were near the river. Okay. Uh, so hang on a sec, let me copy him down. I shall bring you over to the world map. So, eh, zoom in. So they're basically heading off. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Not that big, smaller, smaller. Yeah. Um. So they're basically heading off in this direction. Uh. Right. So. Yeah, they seem to be walking off in an area that if you don't really think it has, you know, it doesn't have an, look like it has an abundance of life, basically. Um, it's heading away from water, which you find to be quite odd. Okay. Uh, yeah, they seem to be heading away from, from water, which is, which is kind of odd. Um, but, uh, after about 
four hours of this. Um, the air starts to, to feel a little bit more um, drier, a little bit more like you've come into an area where um, you're sheltered from any breeze, any wind. It's quite open and sandy um, with a few areas of a few tufts of grass. Um, it looks like, you know, there could be herb, uh, herbivores or the such in the area, given that there are, you know, small tufts of, of grass growing. Uh, I said 10 meters. So, eh, we'll say 15 meters. So, uh, let me just have a look at someone's sheet. Well, hang on. I actually hate certain skills in it. Okay, never mind. Um, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I, I hate certain certain skills in this game. So as you're all uh, making your way behind the, uh, the degenerates, one of you gets a tingle in their veve as um, the individual who is holding his hand up He disappears. What? He disappears in broad daylight. Um, everyone <laughs> hears him scream. Uh, huh. Sorry, I had I had one two minutes. You look like you're not there. We go. That's a better. That's a better formation. Um, can, can I even roll awareness? Maybe. No, no. I've I already rolled awareness. awareness. I've already rolled awareness for you, my dear. Um, you were able to oh, stop. Perfect. You were able to stop. You were able to. Yes, a talent I bloody well hate. Um, you were able to stop the group. Uh, the in tingle their in the yes. Yes. Um, you're able to stop the group um, moments before the guy at, in the front disappears. Hang on a minute, I'm, I... I'm, draw I'm drawing a square for you all. No, you you uh, you genuinely can't do anything. This is a surprise I round. Was... And... I was but... about to say, can I look for tracks? No. No, you had plenty of time to... to... Follow the group. They weren't looking for tracks. They were just walking. I was referring to tracks of the one who vanished. No, no. I like you'll you'll see when I when I open the map to you um, why it's pointless because you're literally looking at him. This hold for four hours. You've been following a triangular or, or group of men, with one person right out in the front waving his hand around <laughs> that he recently cut open with a knife. I've come to the conclusion that these tribals are fucking retards. Yes! <laughs> I mean, that's what inbreeding does to you. I Take need... a point. I need... Right side, they make for a good father. I don't even think we need to fuck one of them, they just kill themselves. <laughs> oh. He has a chance. He has a chance. No, you see, he's not gonna have a chance. Oh, will you stop fucking around? Roll for it. Uh, not roll for it. <laughs> roll twenty. <laughs> Although roll, yes, for, roll it for it could it. also do stop with around do, do some some less fucking around. You know, get on with the game. Although I can't actually speak as I'm sat here making a quickly making up an encounter wow. map. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> quickly making up an encounter map. Well, I wasn't entirely sure what you guys were going to do, so uh, I, I set up a, a mining map instead. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure they'll do something safe to begin with. They, they will believe in... Did I put that on the GM layer, you twat? Map layer. Not GM layer. Um, they won't go for somewhere dangerous. I told them how dangerous this place was going to be. Oh, map layer. From here, I need to. Well, make you we bigger. do have 10 meat shields. 
Yes, this well, is true. Nine. This is this is true. Nine, no. Well, nine. Now it's nine. Yes. Oh my god, this thing is fucking huge. <laughs> Oh, this is the fucking uh, legged testicle, isn't it? No, 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 testicle? no, no. no, no, no. I, I'm thinking more along the lines of Sandworm from Mass Effect. <laughs> it's my testicle. Or Dune. Or Dune. Sandworm from Dune. Hang on a minute, that can't be right. Well, oh, no, they are. Okay, I just didn't make the token big enough. Okay, one size up. Excellent. So, let's bring you over to the mapses. You will need to go south. Aha! I was right! And if you go to the, uh, to the green section, that's where, where your group is basically uh, starting up. Yes, yes. Can I be here? Do I have to be a hundred percent inside? No, you can be anywhere. Uh, it's not. Um, it's not that uh, critical. I just didn't think you would be going ahead of them when um, Heinrich said you'd follow them. Uh, yeah. I want. Yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not leaving this fucking hunt. I want you, and then I want to roll initiative for you. So I haven't done oh yeah 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 it's on uh, combat and then oh yeah for anyone who's doing their initiative uh next to the question mark you need to put your agility bonus that's how you get your uh 1d10 plus your agility bonus and that's on combat so hopefully this is going to work uh roll oh it rolled twice for me what uh, that, there. Yeah. Uh, this, just so I know, how many arrows did that long bow come with? Uh, roll a 1d8 plus 1. See, this is where I would have gone. Could have thought of that sooner, couldn't you? Do you want both? You have five. Okay, that's good enough for now. Uh, how do I... There we go, add to turn. And we will go for a twelve. Albie, can you... Uh, have you done your initiative? Wait, no, I got eleven. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, not eleven. Oh, I rolled poorly. And then I want the uh, creature. Creature, your agility bonus is what now? Pathetic. Nice, 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 nice. And your combat comes over to here. Okay, and I want you to click on your token. Okay, so technically, um, this is a surprise round. However, you guys are not technically surprised because um, your friend and ally was able to uh, to prevent you from from you know getting fucked over. However, the individual down the hole, he did not. He did not. <laughs> um, so. Yes, I think everything I did do everything right. I am so pleased. Was there a special rule that I, I yes. So that doesn't matter because it was an NPC. Oh no no, it should be So the hole should be five meters by five meters. I think I did that right. Uh yes, so he's gonna do He's gonna do his berserk ability because this is an ambush attack, so minus 10 to his attacks. Cool. 
and he doesn't have oh i didn't write in what frenzy does so i'm not going to bother um so he first attacks with his claws uh i'm just not going to do an aim no no it's full action so he wouldn't be able to aim it's a oh there isn't a surprise so I'm guessing it's a standard attack. And then the modifier is he's surprised. So um, that's uh, plus 30 to hit. But then So plus 20 overall. Excellent. We shall uh, see if he can dodge in a moment. And then we do an attack with uh, his other one. So no aim. Standard attack. Plus 20. So as he smashes into this uh, bloke. Oh, actually, he's surprised. He can't take any defensive actions. Marvellous. Um, so as he smashes into uh, into this guy with, uh, with his uh, two burrowing claws, he... I, I think he might be dead. Um, he then uh, grabs hold of his head with... Um, he's dead. He's dead. Holy shit! Well, now, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> so <laughs> you hear just this weird growling screech before you hear someone down the hole scream in agony and pain. Before there's just this horrible crunching sound. As um, we'll say, the sixteen took his head clean off. <laughs> so, what was the point of luring something out with blood if you're just going to drop in a hole? It depends yes. on what you're hunting for. This clearly wasn't what they were hunting for. <laughs> okay, uh, that makes sense. Is uh, this creature visible, or is it not no, visible? No, it, it's five. It's five meters down. Hang on, let me double check. Okay. Uh, so it has, it has dug an, a hole, which is five meters by five meters. Um, and it... Actually, it doesn't say how deep it is. It just says it takes a, a, a minus 20 agility test to try and get out. No, hang on. If you fall, the creature must make a minus 20 agility test. Oh, hang on. Let me... Give him a 1d100 and just see how he does. He gets a 54. He would have failed that. Uh, he... Sorry, uh, agility test. He falls. Uh, and rapidly... Do, 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 yeah, falls into the pit um, with the tiger. It's roughly 5 metres across and... Five, no, 5 metres deep. So... Uh, it's a full action. Uh, so it's a full, uh, minus 20 agility test to get out of the hole as well. Okay. So, yeah, he, he dead. Mm. He dead. Um, so, yeah, you can hear the creature, but you can't actually see it. Uh, although it is hulking. So maybe you could just see, like, parts of its scaly, of its, uh, sorry, leathery hide thrashing around. Hmm. Uh, okay, unfortunate. Also, can, can I just get a confirmation? The longbow range is 50 meters, right? Yes. In that case, uh, since I'm first, I'm going to carefully, uh, not going to use my full move, but I'm full moving. Uh, yeah, the dudes are before me. Or actually, before the... Or after the... Yeah, I'm just going to move here. Just gonna casually stroll over here. This is probably not a good idea, but uh, here I am. <laughs> and that's my full turn. Sure. Uh, they are all taken by surprise, so they will act next turn. It is the creature's turn. Um, no one's attacked it. Something's fallen into its hole. 
It's going to numb. It's just going to eat him. So you just hear the sounds of crushing um, bone and um, munching sinew. Heimrich. Uh, uh, I need to get some more because I didn't actually put up my new sheet. Because I'm a fucking idiot. No worries. It, it's the problem with uh, with going over to a new sheet. And I did say I'd do it in a couple of weeks, and then I was like, no, no, it's so good, we have to do it now. Gotta do it now! Yeah, you kind of got, got me, got to send speed, I think. Or at least some of us. Yeah, I, I, I did, I did. I am. A, I do apologise, but you'll all be happy for the bonuses that the sheet provides. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, good that Honestly, if we'd done this with the old sheets, it would have been far more annoying. Oh, on another note, I know I said we were going to use Dark Heresies second editions um, hit chart. Because the sheets are so good, we're going to use Rogue Traders because it's all in there. Right. Okay. So yeah, just follow along with the uh, with the the uh, pro the uh, ooh. Just follow along with the shit that's there. Uh, the creature okay. is hulking, so there is a plus 10 if anyone does want to hit it. So, uh, I'm going to use the exceptional leader ability. And uh, call out that it's just a mindless beast, we can kill it. Uh, minus so... 20, you don't... Uh, is, if, if, if this is to them, there's a minus 20 because you don't speak their language. Oh, no, no, I don't, I don't give a fuck about them. <laughs> I don't care about the hunters at all. This is for my comrades. It's okay, something cool. it can do once per round. Yeah. To give someone so, plus so. ten. There you go. Uh, I'll give it to uh, who's going to get in combat first. I think it's going to be no Abby. You're going next. I'll give it to you. I guess that would carry over to next round if I don't do any tests, right? Doesn't specify it then some third. Doesn't say it doesn't actually specify it. It needs to be activated now, technically. Uh, I think it would last until Heimrich's next turn. If he can do okay. it every turn. Then it would be until his next turn. Because yeah, otherwise that makes sense. Have it on everyone. And I will move to here. Colin, I are mentioning that. Don't forget, we do have meat shields. Abby, you're up. I'll just move a bit closer to the side to see what's going on. Sure, you can do that. Cray. Uh, I half move. to there, and then I take a half aim at the beast. Uh, so unfortunately you can't actually see it, because it's five meters down. You can, you know it's in there, because as it's eating, like its tail flicks up, and you can see the leathery skin of it. Um, but at the moment it's actually five meters below you. It's in a how hole. Close, how close do I need to be to see in it? You're probably, if it's five meters down, you're probably going to be at the ledge. Yeah, five meters is, is, uh, is. I know it's hulking, but five meters is is two and a half of me. Five meters is deep. I know. It's two floors, basically. Yeah, about about two and a half of me. Yeah, it, it, it's and uh, so yeah, you'd need to get quite close to the to the hole. Um, you can hear quite visibly that it's chowing down at the moment.
How the fuck do you do that uh, measurement command again? Uh, uh, right while you're holding it, I'm moving it. So right click. Left, yeah, left click. You pick up your token with right click and then you left click. No. No. Pick up your pick token up as if you're going to move it. Yeah, pick it up with left click. And then right down, click. And then just right click. Yeah. I rent to there. Sure. Uh, how are we doing for time? Uh, I can probably do another round if it's if it's quick. Sure, I'm fine. So, Jiminy, you're up. Uh, I'm good for time. Ah, uh, hmm. thing is, since the creature is down and I can barely approach it in half a turn, uh, can I aim? Uh, in this direction, or hold an action. Mm, aim. You, you. So you have to actually aim at something. You could technically. So what are you trying to do as well? Trying to shoot the creature that uh, comes into your line of sight. Here's the thing. That would be an overwatch. Here's the thing. I, I'm. Yeah, it's kind of that. I'm basically trying to hold an action so that as yeah, soon as these fuckers move over, then you're doing. Then you're I doing go an overwatch. Oh, you want... So you could only hold a half action. So if you want to if you wanna wait for them to move to do have their action first, you can then have a half action after they've had their action. Oh, no. He can just say that, that he's um, overwatching. That's a full yeah, action. No, or, or you can overwatch, yeah. I, I'll just overwatch. Or now I'll just overwatch. Okay. Because although I love melee combat, uh, I'm not getting the hole first. I don't have a cone at the moment, but we can all see that you're you're overwatching the hole. So if the creature tries to come out of it, you are overwatching. Gotcha. So it's nice these guys read, right? <laughs> or take their hunting spears and charge forwards. I believe. Let me just have a look at their agility because I may be being a bit generous on that uh, on that ten. I think they've only got six. Uh, combat movement. Yeah, it's only six. God damn it! Okay, they run. They run over, even though it, it's dumb and it uh, it gives them a higher chance of of death. They run over. How much agility do they have? Uh, three. And they should have a charge of nine. Yeah, but technically, you need to actually do something with that charge. Charging just from one place to the other isn't really allowed. Um, so they have to run. Oh, I'm being rather generous there. I'll be generous. Why not? The other two will, will take in positions behind. Actually, no, they'll run a bit further. Ooh, don't get frisky with him. <laughs> Now's not a time. <laughs> Jesus. So yes, they all run over to the uh, to the pit. Um, Sand Tiger notices that they are there. Um. It has a full belly now. They are aggressive. They are aggressive. It what are is... they equipped with weapon wise? Hunting spears. Uh, it goes into the wall. Wait, what? <laughs> it charges. It comes out of the ground. I like these creatures. They're cool. Um, and then it's going to do a, a charge attack, which I don't believe you get to name. Do get a charge. Uh, they're not unaware anymore. So he is launching teeth, grabs hold of another one. They do get a dodge. I think they can dodge. I'm sure they can dodge. <laughs> yes, they, they do at least have dodge. So, um... 
Oh, he just gets out of the way in time. Only just. Only just. So unfortunately, Jim, um, your held action is in the wrong place. But uh, you do see it's a public <laughs> <Wait, laughs> Really? <laughs> because it I was literally doing... It, it went underground, Isn't Jim. This basically what I see? Jim, it went underground. Oh, it went underground. Okay. It's a burrowing <laughs> creature. It goes underground. So it's just dug a hole up behind and popped out and attacked, uh, attacked this poor fucker. I should have just held an action, god damn it. <laughs> Hi Rick, this, this huge, um, four, I believe it's four-legged, it might be six-legged, um, worm-type creature with just the most peculiar shaped mouth, just uh, circular with uh, sharp teeth running all the way around it and powerful front legs with sharp claws, um, almost like mini spades. Okay, I am. Uh, I'm doing the same thing as last time. I'm done. Going to be exceptionally. Le I'm going to be an exceptional leader. <laughs> Again, Psyker, fucking do something! As I begin pulling out my uh, uh, collapsing collapsible staff, I'm ready. Sure, you can do that. Abby. Right, she will take a step forward and then cast Psychic Scream. I'm guessing sure. none of the idiots are paying attention to me. They are quite busy, yes? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, some in the back row have got more of a time to look around, but... Um, yeah, then... There's only two in the back row. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I get a plus ten, right? Yes, it is. Uh, it yep. is hulking. No, no, I wouldn't get the hulking bonus for psychic stuff, but I get the plus ten from uh, Heimrich. Yes. Ah, okay. Cool. Fucking hell! So the natural thirteen gets seven point uh, one degrees. Can he dodge this? Or is it an AOE? No, he can't. Like, it an... Okay. No, it's just a single target spell, but it's not a projectile. Ah, okay. Ooh. And he has to take a uh, toughness test. With a minus 10 on it. Any damage plus 2 or plus 1 impact. Point of effective siren. Okay, so toughness with a minus ten. Uh, it succeeds the toughness test with a twenty-three. No, but it still takes eight damage. That ignores armor. Oh yes, it ignores armor. Um, it bounces off of his toughness, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, now. Do we see something happening? Wait, were they minus? So the creature like thrashes around violently <sighs> for a moment. But apart from that, nothing really. Abby looks a bit weird as she's focusing and like moving her hands and like, you know. But apart from that, no, there is nothing. Now, Cray, unfortunately, it's in melee combat now. What so, do you mean, unfortunately? Yeah. Well, there's a minus 20 to shooting into, into melee. Now, Oof. I am on the fence about this in the fact that if you don't care about shooting the people in melee combat, should the minus not go down a little. Yeah, I so, guess you yeah. just take the minus because you really try not to hit the, you know, other guy. Well, I still want to really... shoot the other. You, sh you still want to shoot one target, but you don't really care. So, 
yeah, it's not like you're trying to avoid an ally. I don't you're think Galadine like shit, I need to... you know, They're not I don't true think allies. Will... I don't think Ganadine will try to... Ganadine will try to avoid friendly fire. Oh, in that case, it's minus 20. See, I was going to say a minus 10, because you're like, ah, well, you know, as long as I try and hit the big thing, if I do hit one of them, then fuck it. But, um, yeah, it's... There's also, uh, there is a plus 10 to hitting it anyway, so... Yes. So, so, plus 10 to hit, I do, uh... So, it's a minus 10 um, on the uh, modifier. Actually, if you aim first, it's flat. Yes. I do a uh, full aim. There's enough mean backs in between. Sure. So you do a full aim. That is a full action. Um, we will come back to you next turn. Um, yeah. We can go for one more. It's all right. You sure? One more turn. Yeah. Fair enough. So, um, degenerate Eldar scum. Um, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna get tired of saying uh, that. You know, you're not wrong, so I don't mind. <laughs> uh, it's plus 10 to the pro size and minus 10 to hit it. I literally don't give uh, a shit if I hit the other people. Yeah, then it's a minus 10, so it'd be a flat roll. Or flat, on the okay. On the, on it's the not modifiers. gonna be a good roll. This is not going to be a, a good roll at all because I'm not a ballistic character yet, but... Oh! I actually do hit! So you oh. do hit it. Um, it... You know what? I'm actually going to say it doesn't know that you're firing an arrow at it because they're technically blind. But they have... Uh, they have... They can sense vibration. So although you could say it senses the vibration in the wind, it doesn't. It doesn't. So uh, it doesn't uh, try to dodge. So roll for me some damage. Or hit one. You absolute shit of a game. <laughs> no, 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 no point. No point replacing. Damn it! <laughs> I think I had. Two degrees or three degrees of success? Let me check. No, there, there's no point. There's no point. It makes no difference, yeah. No. There's no point. I... There's no point. Longmo is two AP? Yeah. It's primitive. Oh, wow. It, yeah, it is primitive. It's so though. primitive. Um, so, the, um, the inbreds. So, uh, the first one attacks. Who was attacked beforehand. Wait a minute. In range? Oh, sorry. I clicked on the on the throw, not the stabby stab. So stab him in the face um, as many times as you can. Uh, so at the moment it's just him. So oh, sorry, there should have been a plus ten on that. Oh, he does actually hit. So the uh, the creature is going to attempt to take its dodge. Fails dramatically. Yeah, got a sixty nine actually. Not bad. Not bad. And then he gets, oh, he does 12 damage. That's actually not bad at all. Um, so 12 damage does a tiny little bit. Does a tiny little bit. Okay, so now let's go through uh, the rest of the hillbillies. I will try and do them in one. So one, two, three. By all means, do do chat amongst yourselves for a moment. Um, there's a lot of hillbilly attacks mm. coming. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm kind of going to do the same thing again. This fucking bull. Fucking hell! I, mean, I could try to compel one of the 
hillbillies to jump in its mouth. That's about it. Do it. This is where we need poison. This uh, is where we do. Well, it's eating hillbillies. I, I am cursed, you know. My Fucking hell. Is... Oh, nice. That's a lot of fucking Damn. decent rolls. They're all sword ending. Oh, actually, I think I fucked up one of them, so I'll have to take one of them away. Uh, oh, rending is just a damage type? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Come on, Cletus, move on over. Get a... Actually, I shouldn't, be... I shouldn't really do that. He's only on one square, so I allow it. Um, so, um, some of them did a charge, so I need to do two attacks with no aims, but they do get the ganging up bonus because they, uh, they walked into combat. So, okay, so we'll keep all of the damage rolls because um, he got his, uh, he attacked. So this one we'll have to do another one for, <laughs> he hits as well. Okay, so we'll do a damage roll for him, unlucky. And then we've got uh, two two charges and then two ran in hound. Let me just, one, two. Oh, bollocks, why did I do damage? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, so three of them didn't get to attack this turn. They just uh, charged in. So ones who charge only get the size modifier, not the ganging up. Uh, one misses, and then no aim, charge, plus 10. Okay, so they all miss. So now I need to go through and do some applications. Uh, the guy who got the one, there's no point changing his degrees of success. So I'm sure, oh, actually it's this bloody sand tiger's turn next, bugger. So let me just quickly sort out their, their damage. So that was that much, that was that much, that was that much. Okay, the sand tiger's still up. Uh, it goes into a berserk mode and attacks, um, well, basically just attacks two of them. Uh, so it's a standard attack. There's no other modifiers. Oh shit, no, there should be a minus 10 to that, but never mind, it didn't, um, it didn't hit anyway. So no, that's fine, and then a minus 10. Okay, I'm just going to do damage first, but I'll let them dodge. So basically, if uh, they don't dodge, I think one of them dies. Uh, dodge. Yep, one okay. dies. One has gone kaput. Okay. Uh, uh, really? That side? Yes, unfortunately, that's fine. <laughs> there the other had been any other side they could chart. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, it's in. It's looking in a lot worse shape than I thought. It's looking in a lot worse shape than <laughs> I thought. <laughs> all those little, yeah, all those little nicks. Pointy, pointy. All those little nicks did actually add up to something. A lot of Bentonies does make a million. It's, it, it certainly does. So Heimrich, what do you like to do? A lot of Bentonies. Bentonies. I know. Sense. Oh, I, I know. I missed it. I just missed the joke. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Uh, I want to take a step forward, I think. Yeah, I'll take a couple steps forward. Again, shouting to, uh... Yeah, 
You've got a gun, don't you, Cray? I've got a... I've got a musket out. Okay, yeah, I'm showing to Cray. Uh, do your Omnissiah proud and kill that fucking beast before they do. Now you have a plus ten. I see. Thank you, but uh, Omnissiah will be blessed with a bit more really? and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your full action, yeah? You yeah. Uh, half moved and done that? Cool. So, no, uh, no, it's a free action to do that, so it's a full move and then. Ah, okay. Um, so, Abby, you're up. I'll do the th same thing again. Sure. So, you do indeed strike it. Done. Oh, actually, it does have to do a, do a toughness test. Minus 10. And I get 8 damage again. Oh, sorry, no, that, that I did a plus 10. So it, it passed with 1 degree. No, 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 hang on. No, I think it failed by... No, no, because I gave it a... Hang on. What did it hit exactly the right amount? Because... So the target I just rolled is Yeah, I correct. think it makes it just barely. Plus, minus yeah. 10, what? Yeah, so I've, because uh, I've got plus, plus, plus minus 10, 10 on the last one. Yeah, so yeah. it would have just lose one degree. So it passed with Fucking hell, the formula in this is just really complicated. Uh, it is. It is. It's, it's, it's rating is 72. He has 72 toughness. Minus 10 would be 62. He rolled a 62. Um, unfortunately, the creature is able to uh, to withstand your psychic. Oh, I think assault. my desk one died again. Hang on. Uh, is that a full action in Rogue Tra Trader? Was it like Dark what? Heresy, which is just a half? Do you have another half action you want to use, uh, Abby? I do, but I can't cast two psychic. Abilities ah. in the same turn, or can I? No, I don't think you can in this system. Uh, I do sometimes allow uh, a homebrew where you can do a attack and a um, like a buff utility. or a heal. Yeah, utility. Yeah, I can't really. So That's okay. My turn. okay. So, Cray, you have an extra plus 10 to your uh, ballistic skill. You've got, uh, you did a full aim, and the creature is hulking. So, um, I believe you get a plus 20 to your shot. Short range. Yeah, in the modifiers, just put zero. Follow it all the way through. Why single shot plus zero? Why do that's you get? Because that's what it is in Rogue Trader. That's so odd to see. You get it, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a minus twenty in combat, right? Uh, but you've already aimed, so just put a put a zero. Yeah, but it's for the you have the whole dialogue thing. Remember? What? Uh, hang on. Let me double check. Because you should be on zero with your with your modifiers. So let me go to hunting. Plus skill. ten for a size, plus ten for my buff, and then minus twenty because you're not trying to shoot the. Oh, so oh, it would be it would be one, flat. Would be one degree more. No, he would no. have plus twenty. He would have a plus twenty over. over no, all. so so essentially you've got a plus forty. Oh yeah, and the M. You've you've got a plus forty. I've got... start with because you did your yes. full aim which is plus 20 and you got a plus 10 buff and a plus 10 because of its size you didn't want to shoot anyone in melee combat so that's a minus 20 so you do all of your shooting things and at the end you just put a plus 20 in so what did you put in there a plus 40 plus 10 in the end oh you only put a plus 10 at the end okay so yeah you would have actually had one yeah. more degree so with three degrees of success, um, you do indeed hit it. And it's already dodged. The body. So roll damage. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh dear. Um, I believe 
you just punch for its skin, its skin and toughness. So you, you, you do damage, but only an equal little bit. It's oh, because it actually has pain. armor, doesn't does it? Uh, it's got right. tough skin, which gives it one AP, and then it's got a ridiculous amount of toughness, which gives it rest. So a little tiny bit of damage goes through. It's still alive. Just. <laughs> A lot of little mix. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to call it quits here. Let's yeah, uh, let Jim take his take his final shot. Yeah. And see if uh, see if his shot could be the one that brings it down. This is not a experiment one. So longbow. Actually, knowing because I have to reload it. Let's hope that thing is at least tasty. Uh, plus 10, minus 10, so flat. April. Ooh, I actually do hit it in the body. You hit it. Uh, roll for me damage, please. Come on, dice gods. Don't fuck me now. Congratulations. <laughs> for beauty. As the creature arrives up and uh, the smoke begins to clear from Cray's shot, you lock an arrow and fire. The shot goes straight through the creature's eye and into its skull, bringing it down. Ooh, I thought it didn't have any eyes. Technically, it does it have. It's like one. a mole. It's like <laughs> moles. They, they technically have eyes, but they're blind and useless. It's just a vestigial organ, so yeah. Um, it so you shoot it through an even smaller target than what would normally be uh, acceptable for an eye socket, bringing the creature down. Um, and that is where we will end our episode. So, I certainly hope you enjoyed uh, this episode, and I'm looking forward to future episodes to come, where there will be more creatures and glorious things for our group to find. I'm quite surprised that um, more of the hillbillies didn't die, but then they go out in numbers for this reason. Overpower the enemy. Bring home the meat. So, in quantity you. is quality all of its own. It certainly is. And they've taken that to heart. So thank you all so much for watching. Take care, everyone. And as always, bye-bye for now. Bye. See ya. See ya.